I 3D printed these things. I designed them on Fusion 360 and 3D printed them on my resin printer. And um, the clock itself is going to be here in the air balloon. So I am going to start with my airbrush and just paint them all white so that I have the background color. And then I'm going to uh, paint the details on by hand. I'm gluing them on to this uh, stir stick or icicle stick uh, with some double sided tape. This way they won't fly away when I'm painting them. So I have a few uh, different airbrushes but this one is uh, I think my favorite. So let's put that on here. There we go. Okay, let's make some white paint here. So this is just a acrylic paint and I'm just thinning it up with some water. And I keep a finger here on the tip. This way the air is going back and I can use that pressure to actually mix the color in a tiny bit. Make sure it has the right consistency and it has. So it should be working now. Perfect. I'm just putting it on in some very thin coats here. And I'm trying to let it dry a bit between each layers of uh, paint here. I give it as many layers as it needs and I will be back when I'm done. So after the paint has dried I am going in and painting these small raised details. Here I am using the yellow color to do it and I'm making two of these balloons with yellow and two with red. Then I also designed these clock hands and I printed them on my 3D printer and here I have them cleansed and hardened. I am going to put them here on my double sided strip of tape. They were going all over the place, what you will see here in a minute. Um, but I got them painted eventually. Then after the black paint was dry, I dry brushed them with some silver ink to make them a little more uh, detailed. Then I used my super glue gel to glue on these uh, clock hands to the little uh, air balloon. And I'm just gluing them on as I want to, no rhyme or reason, but you can turn them the way you want to. If you want the 3D file for this one, you can find the link in the info box below where you can get these air balloons to make yourself. You do need a 3D resin printer to print these small wall clocks. Anyway, here I'm trying to show you that they are now in the watchmaker's den and they are really cute together with all the other clocks that I made for now. Um, I'm running out of ideas, so if you have some ideas for another clock that can 
be in this little room, then please write me. Thank you for watching and happy crafting.